Ukrainian army destroyed the third Russian A-50 military reconnaissance aircraft this year. New satellite images confirmed the hit of Ukrainian drones on the building of an aircraft repair plant in Taganrog. Ukrainian dialogue media outlet reported this. There is no A-50 aircraft near the buildings of the Bereev aircraft plant in the published pictures. The plant fell under attack by Ukrainian drones on the night of March the 9th in Taganrog. It was standing next to the plant nine days before. OSINT researchers found that the blow fell on the hangar where aircraft in maintenance are usually placed. Most likely the target was the A-50. Russian propagandists started talking about restarting production of this type recently, he wrote. Researchers of the OSINT project Frontelligence Insight believe that at the time of the impact, this aircraft could have been in the plant's building. Visible damage to the building on the satellites is enough to damage the aircraft being repaired inside the enterprise. Satellite images confirmed the hit of Ukrainian drones on the building of an aircraft repair plant in Taganrog, which became the main target of a massive strike on the Rostov region last Saturday night. Geospatial analysis of the images was conducted by the Ukrainian analytical group Frontelligence Insight. They compared the pictures of the plant from February the 29th and March the 8th and March the 9th. In the picture dated February the 29th, published by the investigative project Schemes of the Ukrainian Service of Radio Liberty, four aircraft stood next to the hangar for repair, one of which was the A-50. On March the 8th and 9th, three aircraft remained on the site of the plant and the A-50 was not among them. It is unclear if it was in the building at the time of the attack. For intelligence insight, analysts wrote, Comparative analysis of the images revealed traces of fire on the roof of the final assembly workshop where the A-50 was allegedly repaired, for intelligence insight researchers reported. Explosions occurred near the entrance of the building according to the analysis. Analysis of satellite images shows that at least one S-300-400 system was at the airfield during the attack. If it does not serve as a bait, this indicates the ability of the Ukrainian UAV to overcome Russian air defense systems even in the immediate vicinity of strategic facilities. If the A-50 was indeed damaged as a result of the attack on Taganrog, then this is the third aircraft of this class that has been disabled by the Ukrainian military since the beginning of the year. In January and February, the Ukrainian forces shot down two A-50U aircraft over the Sea of Azov. Russia dupes foreigners for war in Ukraine. Human trafficking network exposed in India. A major human trafficking network has been uncovered in India, where individuals were offered to travel to Russia to work as assistants in the military, but were subsequently coerced into joining the war against Ukraine, according to Reuters. The Central Bureau of Investigation of India reports that approximately 35 Indian citizens were sent to Russia through this scheme. However, India's Ministry of External Affairs previously only acknowledged about 20 men recruited by Russians. It is also reported that at least two men were later recruited for the war against Ukraine have died on the front lines. The Indian Embassy in Russia recently confirmed one of these deaths. The trafficked Indian nationals were trained in combat roles and deployed at front bases in Russia-Ukraine war zone against their wishes, says the Central Bureau of Investigation of India. Human traffickers operating in several states of India lured people through social media and local agents. During raids in various locations, including New Delhi and Mumbai, law enforcement seized 50 million rupees or $605,000 as well as documents and electronic records. Some of the suspects were detained for further questioning. In late February 2023, India approached the Russian Federation requesting the early release of some of its citizens working with the Russian military in support jobs. This statement from the MEA of India came after a local news agency reported that around 100 Indians were hired on contracts lasting at least a year. Citizens from many countries were seeking employment in the Russian military, including neighboring Nepal. Among them, the Indian embassy in Russia recently acknowledged for the first time the death of a citizen, Sri Mohammed Asfan, recruited for the war against Ukraine.